remarkable new evidence. If this film indeed corresponds with Vereshagin's story, what we are looking at is the scene of the crash site in Bereyosevsky, as viewed by a camera on top of a military truck. The focal point of this scene is here, and indeed appears to be a disc embedded in the ground. Here we see soldiers exiting the truck, led by a captain. The troops are met by another officer, this one a major, and then they join other soldiers and officers already on the scene. This footage is one of four reels of film acquired during our investigation. Explore it. This film footage certainly seems to depict interest by Russian military personnel in the object that is seen sticking out of the ground. Soldiers, officers, and civilian clothed agents are deployed around the site, and they appear to be both guarding and examining the object. This is what we found on one of the four reels of film obtained in Russia. After viewing the footage, we were able to determine that it was most likely shot with two separate cameras. One apparently a handheld camera, which starts out on the approaching truck, and a second one seen here on a tripod. As the soldiers march past, you can see the cameraman turn to follow the troops. Here we cut to the other angle, the point of view from the tripod camera. And here you see the handheld camera as the truck pulls up. Both cameras change vantage points several times during the film, as if to get better views or perhaps under orders of a superior. From this angle, we see yet more troops arrive. Author Veniamin Vereshagin described... You know, in the future, events have taken a more powerful character. The request of the KGB... On the KGB request, the Soviet army... And here you see the man who is probably the head KGB agent directing the cameraman to point his camera toward the disc. A total of almost 1,200 feet of negative were recovered just on this crash site. It is possible that more film was shot, but this is all that we were able to obtain. None of this film depicts the removal of the disc itself, and at no point do we see inside the object. From this angle, we do see the handheld camera shooting behind or inside the disc. However, that footage, if it was in fact ever shot, was not included in the cans of film we acquired. We can only speculate that it may still be at large. We must also speculate on how the object ended up here. Based on information from very Where did this object come from and how did it come to crash here? And more importantly, what has happened to it since?